All right, it's part two of our show, cold smoke steaks. Let's show you how to get them done. So right here, we got our cold smokes. Now we're going outside on the grill with these. Now we showed you the other ones, they were fried in the pan, and now we're doing steak and fries. Nice, quick, simple, easy dish. We're making steak fries, homemade. So let's show you how to get that done. We're gonna take our potatoes, peeled and cleaned. That's how you want these. So we peeled them, we washed them, and we're ready for cutting. I'm gonna go straight down, just like that. Now this happens to be a big potato, but most of you guys won't use them that big. And then we're gonna go down again like that and just roll it and keep it flat. So this way, you're not gonna cut yourself. And then we're gonna go on an angle today. Now we're making wedges, so this is where you gotta be careful. We're going on an angle, and now we're gonna cut like that. And now you're gonna have this nice big steak fry. And that's how you want them, nice wedges like that. I'm gonna take this one again and just go on an angle. And these are nice big fries like that. So they're like steak fry wedges. Let's cut that. Let's hold that again on an angle like that. And we'll just go in and do that. Again, like that. And this way, they're gonna fry even, all of them. Now this one happens to be a little bit thicker. So what we'll do is just cut this one again. Go down and just cut that one again, like that. So they're nice big fries. Now these are the smaller ones, so we'll put these in the basket. It's amazing how many fries one potato makes. So we'll put those in the basket and we'll use a smaller one, which would be a better example. So just go down like that and half and then quarter it, just like that. So it's a much smaller fry, much smaller wedge. That's basically the size you want them. The first one I did was a bit large. It's gonna take a long time to cook as well too. So just keep them about that size, use a smaller potato. That one happened to be in my drawer. I'll move this back. That one happened to be in my drawer. So I figured, hey, why not I use it? But that's more of a baking potato. These are more fryers. So let's just cut these up. And that's how you want them, just like that. All right, we're gonna get to cutting these and we're gonna meet you right back here. So stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, we're frying about 375. Now, I dropped the basket down in here because when you put these fries in, they retain a lot of water. So when you put them in, you wanna make sure they don't bubble over on you. So what I do is I drop my fries in first and I can see where my water level is and just shake them. Because if you put them all in the basket and you drop them down, you could bring this right over the top and that wouldn't be good because you're gonna make a mess and be in a very bad situation. So drop them like that. This way you can see how far those bubbles rise. So even with a deep fryer, you can still have an accident and not be good. So just be careful where you're frying these. And just get as much in, not to cool the oil down and not to bring up all the bubbles and have it bubble over on you. This is oil bubbling over, not water, and you're gonna be in trouble. All right. We're gonna finish these up and we're gonna meet you right back here. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, five minutes in the oil. Let's see what we got. Looking pretty good. Now I want these a little bit more crisp, but I'm gonna go drop them down again. But I'm gonna let them sit here for about two minutes and then I'm gonna refry them to get them nice and crispy and that's gonna be about it. And we'll meet you guys right back here, get these steaks on. Don't go anywhere. All right, and that's it. We're gonna drain these off. That's the color you're looking for, just like that. Now, the longer you let them go, the more grease they're gonna soak up. They'll be crunchy, but they're gonna take on more grease and you want nice, light, even steak fries. So I'm gonna get these over onto the tray. Just like that. And this is at the point where you want to salt them. We're going to salt them in two seconds, but we're just going to get 
our other potatoes in. So I'm just going to put a couple of these in the basket, drop it, see where my bubbles are, let the oil heat up a little bit, and then I'm going to drop the rest of these in and get those steaks on. We'll meet you right back here when we get these steaks going. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we're about two minutes in. We got these on. And this grill is raging hot. So we're just gonna cross hatch them. Now, this is more about the style of cooking than the steaks themselves. We're showing you how to cook steaks, cold smoked. So I'm just gonna look around and maybe I'm gonna flip these. I'm gonna flip these now. That's what you're looking for. Just like that. I'm gonna switch these two around because I want this one closer to the fire. I'm gonna just get that one down there some more. And cooking. Just move them around. All right, we're gonna meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. All right, I'm just gonna show you the nice color that's on these. Now, when you cold smoke your steaks, look at that color. I mean, they just give a, a completely different color. Now, this is on a gas grill. Those aren't real charcoal briquettes down there. Those are ceramic briquettes. So there's no charcoal taste or flavor to this grill. It's just natural briquettes down here in that juice dripping off the meat right there. That's all you got. So all that flavor is in the meat, but I just wanted to show you the color in there. All right, I'm gonna close up, cook these up. Don't go anywhere. All right, time to pull these. Now I flipped these over to the indirect side. So that was direct, that's indirect, and we're just gonna pull them. And we'll meet you inside. They look beautiful. Look at that. Don't go anywhere. All right, here we are, part two chopping block of cold smoked steaks. Let's show you what we got. Look at those guys. Beautiful. Cook right. Now this video wasn't about how to cook these steaks, but more to show you the power of cold smoking. So, and what they look like. I mean, that's a gas grill. Look how beautiful they look. Let's get one onto the bench. Now, like we showed you in the last video, we're gonna cut this up. So we're gonna go right down the side of the New York strip side. Turn it around and just cut through that. And get that out of there. And once it's out of there, we're gonna cut them up into strips. This is how every steakhouse, mostly in the country, does it. So we're just showing you how to get this done and bring the steakhouse to you. We're gonna slide those pieces back and we're just gonna cut the fillet side out of there. So that was the New York strip side. And let's just cut the fillet out of there. The fillet mignon. Now you can leave this hole or cut it up into a couple of different pieces. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna cut it up into three different pieces. And just, maybe we'll go four. It's a bigger steak. And we'll just put it back. And let's just uh, show you what we got here. Look at that. Beautifully cooked. Medium rare, spot on, on a gas grill. And we're just gonna try this little end of things right here. 
on the fillet side. Let's give that a shot. That is just outstanding. I tell you, we did the ones before this in a pan. And this one we did on the gas grill. And if I had to choose one, I love my pan fried steaks. I say this style with cold smoking, that gas grill wins. I mean, that's just the flavor that comes off of theirs. Unbelievable. All right. We're going to show you what this looks like on a plate. And get our plate in here. And let's just get our pieces in and the bone. And put this back together. We dismantled it, so now it's got to be put back together. So we're just going to get that on there like that. And we're going to get the filet in there like that. It's exactly what a restaurant would do to serve you this. Turn the pieces over. Give me just a second. Clean this cutting board off. And get it up high. All right, there we go. So we're gonna turn the pieces up. So you can see that, like that. And we're gonna serve it restaurant style. Just like that. All right, there you have it. Now we're gonna get our steak fries onto the plate. Just gonna slide this over a little bit. Let's get our steak fries around here. Those beautiful steak fries we made. Can't go wrong with those. And that's how to do it. Just like that. And serve those up restaurant style. We'll get another one on there. And we also made a little mozzarella. Tomato, basil. I'm going to get one of those onto the plate, or a couple of those onto each end of the plate. I'll just plate up with those as well, too. And make that plate look pretty. All right, we also made a little shrimp cocktail to go along with this, too. So, right in here is our shrimp cocktail. we got a video in there, too, so this way you want to check that one out. It shows you how to make that shrimp cocktail. And we're having that with that beautiful steak. That's a, a must-see. We'll leave a link in the description for that one. All right, we're going to get organized, and we're going to meet you guys right back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, and there it is. Cold smoked, grilled up steaks. Grilled to perfection, steakhouse style, with some steak fries on the side, mozzarella, tomato, and basil, shrimp, prawns, got some beautiful shrimp cocktail there. We're going to leave a link in the description. This way you can see those shrimps being made. We made a beautiful sauce to go along with those shrimps. You get to see that one too. It's a must-see. We'll leave a link in that description for you. We thank you guys. We enjoyed having you. And until the next time, gotta get that little uh, pit master taste there.